So back in the day when we were sitting around coming up with ideas for the original kamikaze, the initial kamikaze design, we settled on this uh, humbucking in the bridge, single coil on the neck with a push-pull pot. Great for a rock guitar when people are looking for that sound from that era, meaning, you know, the era that I'm known for is the 80s music. You know, I've been involved in Native American issues for a lot of years, and I wanted uh, a guitar that sort of brought attention to those issues. And so it has the iconic Native American imagery, and uh, that's something that's near and dear to me, uh, to my heart, and hopefully it'll bring some awareness, you know, some of the issues around that subject. We talk about the electronics a little bit on the Desert Eagle. It's a really sweet pickup in here. This is a Duncan 78, which is their take on a hot rod PAF, but not crazy hot. So it's got an Al Nico 2 magnet. So I would say it's a, on the weaker side, magnet wise, which is a good thing because the less magnetism, the more your strings vibrate and strings vibrating on an electric guitar is a good thing. But the result is very nice because I think it has that really good balance between what you need, you know, to push the front of your amp and also still has a lot of headroom and dynamics and frequency range. So it leaves a lot of headroom, you know, so it will take pedals better. You can have your amp do more rather than the guitar, which I think makes more sense. And then the single coil is an ESP pickup that is pretty much a clone of what I've always had in my kamikaze neck positions, which is the vintage style pickup. The pole pieces are different elevations, mimicking, you know, the uh, vintage pickups. It has the floating bridge, which to me allows you so much more expression than a fixed bridge. The balance of the guitar is just so beautiful. 